with Andreas Berg, CIO of Wolfcron, who is uh, an SAP customer. Andreas, welcome. Welcome, thank good, you. Good to see you. And uh, so we're here at Sapphire in Orlando. Uh, we're hearing very big messaging from SAP around uh, two big things, really. Uh, HANA, the in-memory solution, and of course, mobile. And so I always try to measure the effectiveness of a company's marketing by talking to customers. And, and, and so do those, and how do those things resonate with you? Are you actually doing anything with, with for instance, mobile you know, today in your, in your environment? But we want to talk about that. But first, start us, start us off by telling us a little bit about your organization. Yes. My name is Andreas Berg. I am CIO of Wolfgang AG. A European uh, crane manufacturer with his uh, head office in Switzerland, Zurich, and uh, production facilities uh, all over Germany. Uh, we are a mid sized company, 550 employees. Our main markets are in Europe and Middle East, and we have a rental fleet um, of tower cranes of about 600 um, pieces. Okay, and so you're, you've been an SAP customer for a long time, obviously, and uh, you've seen the transformation of that company in, in many ways. And we're now seeing another one. What do you make of all this uh, talk about mobile, for instance? Is that something that uh, you're pursuing? Yes, uh, I have to make one correction. We are um, SAP customers since 2006. Oh, okay. So we just so. have finalized the international rollout uh, throughout uh, through over um, uh, Europe in the beginning of this year. Uh, now we have one SAP system with one client and uh, many companies in this SAP system and it works fine. Uh, but we have had one problem um, that was the process for our service technicians. A service technician at Wolfgang has to assemble, disassemble and to repair cranes all over the world. Uh, and this work was not uh, supported by IT so far. So the problem that we had uh, was whenever there was a, a service order uh, coming in, we did not know who is the right person, where is the person, is it free. After uh, finally we have found uh, uh, the person, then we had to direct him to, to the right place uh, all over the world. And uh, all what we did in this process was paperwork. So the, we had to send him paper, he had to send us paper, and it took weeks and months from the beginning of the order that we were able to uh, send an invoice to the customer. Very expensive, inefficient. Inefficient, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you um, must imagine the, the form for the um, service technician uh, had six carbon copies. So one for the customer, one for the technician, and four for the organization. With two to three thousand um, uh, orders per month uh, and, and four carbon copies in the organization, all the data had to be keyed in into the HR payroll system or the quality assurance system or the SAP system for invoicing. So many people uh, were working on this issue and this was really not productive uh, for us. So we had to find a, a mobile um, solution and finally uh, we found it. It is very simple. It is an iPhone, an iPhone for the technicians. They are very proud to have one because it's for them a status symbol. They are treating it very well. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, we have a so-called SAP connector. It's a piece of software uh, added to our SAP system, which organizes the uh, communication between the iPhone um, and the SAP system. Dave, one of the things we've been hearing uh, today, and love to get your perspective as a CIO and kind of out doing business on SAP, is with this HANA product, that innovation from SAP, um, a lot of the folks that follow our, our content and who are watching on the web, they're consumers. They're uh, using consumer products, games, uh, the web, mobile devices, Apple's obviously driven that. Now Android we're seeing surpassing on a market share basis on Apple, although not as fully developed as Apple in our opinion. They're experiencing the consumer lifestyle, right? And that's good, it feels good. That's coming to the enterprise where people are working, doing business. So what the SAP is really saying here is that that experience is coming to the enterprise, a once 
you know, dictated environment where you have to do certain things, certain policies, things are slower, certain processes, so that consumerization is happening. How has the mobile aspect changed your business and, um, and, and well, how is it changing your business and what's your outlook and how you see this world going forward? Okay, with this uh, service solution, we are now much faster. Huh? We, it is sophisticated. Um, we can streamline uh, the processes and so on. But it is not the end of this story, of course. Um, what I want to do is, in the next coming months, um, to uh, make our um, CRM, uh, Customer Relationship Management, also mobile. So we will giving um, iPads and iPhones to all our sales reps uh, all over the world, and they will communicate asynchron uh, with the SAP system. So they can uh, load down their key performance indicators, the information about the customers, um, how the business is going, the business intelligent information. So that's a huge step forward now that we uh, that we have. And uh, for me, it's very important. I'm the, the, the IT responsible. Yeah? I do not need hardware. I do not need middleware. So everything is happening in, in the cloud. I still have my, my SAP SAP system. Uh, I have uh, uh, to port, uh, support my SAP uh, users in the back office and uh, the iPhones uh, and the iPads with their apps um, uh, are working more or less without any. And you have that whole edge concept where, and you remember, I remember when networking was advancing, you had the notion of branch offices, you know, they had the central operations and then, hey, let's have branch offices and you have to have, you know, at network access and you have to have a dynamic provisioning. That's now at the device level. I mean, it's, it seems more complex. Uh, how are you handling all that? I mean, what's the technology that, that, that eliminates that complexity? Is it core cloud technologies? Is it the software at the edge? How do you get that effectiveness? Well, the, the um, access of the branch offices and, and uh, uh, different um, companies in different co uh, countries is still via the, the um, uh, wide area networks. That is, uh, um, stay the same. But all the mobile solutions, that is cloud computing in, in, in the future. So um, uh, cloud computing, in my opinion, is safe. Yeah? So you have uh, big providers like Amazon uh, uh, behind uh, the cloud, let's say it's this yeah. way. Uh, and I feel very secure with the solution. But uh, what I said, we have to travel a lot. Yeah? All our top managers, our service technicians, our sales managers have, have to travel, and we were not able really to, to give them the right information when, when they needed it. So the mobile's a new wide area network. That's the new, the mobile networks are what you're using in the cloud power yes, set. Yes, correct. Uh, GSM net uh, and so on is, is always, uh, almost always available. So. Um, and um, uh, the good news is uh, I do not need um, a direct, uh, an online access to the SAP system. These uh, devices are working asynchronous. So you can download the data, you can upload the data to the SAP system whenever you, are, you have access um, mm -hmm. to the net. Yeah, Dave, this is an interesting comment about the hardware and middleware. Yeah, I, I mean, don't we're hearing need, that. I don't need hardware, I don't need middleware. And that's what vendors do. They throw <laughs> hardware at people. Hey, you know, you need more gear. Gear up. And it's like... That's more management. That's got a, more cost, more management. Exactly. Uh, it doesn't make you faster. And Andreas, you say you say the cloud is safe. You feel comfortable with the cloud. You know, studies show that CIOs, what keeps them up at night is the security in the cloud. But uh, why do you feel it's safe? You feel it because it's better than what you had before, or the the processes are starting to mature? What's your opinion on that? Well, um, as I said, uh, be, behind the cloud there are big providers like uh, the telecom um, uh, companies or Amazon and so on, and they have much more money than I have uh, for security. Uh, I cannot really uh, provide security for my company. I think they can it with, with their... Uh, so ultimately so you see the, the, the cloud as more secure than anything yes. you could provide. Exactly, okay. yes. uh, that is my opinion. We're getting some comments from uh, some of the people on here. It's like uh, describing how fast everything's gotten. And I'm the other guy, I think he's talking about me trying to wrap it around Hannah. I don't necessarily want to wrap it around Hannah. I think Hannah is an advancement. It's SAP's version they're trying to put out there as you know, fast memory. And that's consistent with the trends of like Fusion IO and caching. Um, but so it's not so much about Hannah. Um, the cloud is asynchronous. There's no paperwork, as he's is saying in his comments. Um, the speed is the key, and it's not so much about Hannah, it's about the fact that you can do it, right? You're right. Now, so what do you make of, uh, of Hannah? I mean, you, uh, is that another part of your strategy? Yes. Um, uh, 
To be honest, it's the first time that I hear uh, HANA yeah. uh, as a development of SAP, uh, but I have an idea. Um, so uh, knowledge management in, in our company. So cranes are complicated uh, uh, devices here. And uh, there are many news all over the world uh, about cranes and uh, to, bri to, bri to provide all these uh, news to our engineers and technicians, I could use a, a, a database loaded into the main memory, of course, and, and uh, all the possibilities to, to search information. Well, so this is the first idea that, that I had when I uh, heard from, from Hasso what he's doing with HANA. So, uh, but it's uh, interesting to you. It's, it's, yeah, it yeah, really, yeah, 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 of course. Uh, knowledge management is, is an issue. Yeah? And also business intelligence, of course. Yeah, this will uh, work much better with HANA. Andres, we want to respect your time. I know you were running late, but uh, we could keep you here all day and have a good discussion. <laughs> My last question is, how's the role of the CIO changing? You know, it used to be a CIO, used to be in America, we used to joke, CIO stands for career is over. <laughs> but, I don't know if they, <laughs> they, they <laughs> joke like that in Europe. But, but the role is changing, <laughs> isn't it? With all this notion of mobility and changes in infrastructure and the cloud. And uh, how do you see that changing, your, your role? Yes, I feel as a CIO more and more um, responsible for the decision makers, uh, let's say it's this way. It's no longer the processes. In the past I had to look how is invoicing uh, doing, how can I improve uh, purchasing uh, department and so on. I think these things are, are, are over now. So we have, have implemented SAP and everything works fine. So in the future I have to bring added value to, to our top management, to our sales rep. And therefore, I need uh, yes, new new devices, new databases, uh, new communication possibilities, and so on. Excellent. Okay, we're here. We're here live at uh, Sapphire now with uh, Andreas Berg, who's the CIO of, of Wolfcron, a large crane manufacturer in, uh, in in Europe, across Europe, and across the Middle East uh, as well. And uh, I'm Dave Vellante. I'm John Furrier. SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, the leading source of tech news, and this is theCUBE, our flagship telecast. We're on the ground covering SAP, day three, in-depth coverage. Uh, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate it. Thank you.